Hello, this is the first video in my showcase series where we talk about new features in the upcoming version of the app. Today's topic is color detection. While we already had color detection in the app for a very long time, but it's only available in code. So with this version, this is the first time that it is added to the UI. So I have an empty macro here. Let's open edit mode. Let's go to resource. And you can see here we have new button to add a color resource. Click on it. You have two options to pick the color from the screen or add it manually. And we select pick from screen. And you will tap where you want to pick the color. Then it will zoom out to you like this and you can take your time to select the correct color. This is the coordinate of the color, the review of it. And you can play around with the color like so. This is where the hex value which you can change or you can copy it. And finally you have the option to give it some description like text color. There you go. The other, the other option is to add manually, which is mostly the same. And so so what can we do with a color? Let's go to the main tab and add some detection. You can see we have image type and the new color option over here, right? Let's add it. And before moving on to the color option, let's take a look at image first. Because you can see here, we have the, even though we in image, we have the option to add a color and you can select it as well. For those who don't know, when we do an image detection, we search for an image inside what we call a region, which is this rectangle over here. But when we select color as the image, what it will do is it will search this color inside this region. All right, let me show you. So let's pick from the screen and this color, All right? Drag this. So what happened is this color will be searched in this region, right? And it will file it at this button. And the default behavior is to click on it. So there we go. Right? So that's color search in a region. And before moving on, uh, you should know something. And over here it says color as template should have high score because we only have one pixel to compare this to prevent false positive and we usually use 95 or even 99 all right so let's move on to the color detection yeah you can see we switch from region to detect point instead so instead of detect search color in the region we detect the color at a single point all right so let's pick a color for example this back button to go back and this black color and over here you have the new option to save a color and the coordinates because when you detect a color at a point you also want to save the color of that the coordinates of that point as well Save. There you go. This is your coordinate. Or you can choose the a different coordinate if you wish. Yeah. But let's not do that for now. Alright, let's scroll down. In the file option, we still have the timeout and scan rate, but you can see we are missing the mean score option because we're not comparing using percentage anymore. But instead, we have the new section over here. It says compare criteria. And you might wondering what DE means. Here, DE or delta E is a metric for understanding how human eye perceives color difference. Right? So basically, you can think of this as the distance between two colors. If two colors have uh, very distant, which means they are very different. 
but if the distance between two color is very short then the color is the same here we have the distance less than 10 then color can be considered as the same uh, for example uh, let me try to go back for example this button over here has a green color which is kind of the same as this green it might, might, look, might not look exactly the same but it's the same kind of the same green so this same option will match both of them and from my experience with making macro and seeing other develop, developer macro they really much all use this option over here but if you need the color to be exactly the same then you can select this it says the delta A equal to 0 or you can choose a custom delta A if you wish alright and finally we have the option to include the alpha channel which is the transparency of the color but the alpha is not a color property it's usually not used when comparing color but if you need it you can select the option as well Alright, so that's it. This is color detection, and there's really not much different from the usual image detection. And uh, if you have any question, then you can drop them in the comment or preferably on the Discord, and I will answer them as soon as possible. So for now, I will see you guys in the next video.